Hey everyone, welcome back. Excited to get started here on this new whiteboard series. Today we're going to be going over how to get rid of cellulite. So in my practice all the time I see many women and some men dealing with cellulite based issues. But what we want to talk about is going beyond genetics. I always hear, well, it's just genetic. There's nothing I can do about it. My grandmother had it. My mother had it. Now I have it. But the truth is there's so much that you can do about it. And you didn't have it when you were younger. Why do you start to have it now as you age? Well, we're going to go through that. And honestly, there's about eight different solutions, but there's three main ones that you can begin to implement right away that will have effects within just three weeks time. So I want to explain all that right now, but really to get you to better understand what cellulite is, you need to know what it looks like and how it begins to expand. Because the truth is that cellulite is a sign of a much deeper issue. So while you are getting rid of the cellulite, you are actually helping your body to get healthier. And that's what it's all about. So let's start to move through it right now. You'll see here that if you're not familiar with cellulite, typically you're going to see it on the back of the legs. Uh, you'll start to see it sometimes the front of the thighs. You could even see it on your arms, your stomach, any specific place. But wherever you have the largest amount of body fat accumulation, combined with a lack or removal of muscle as you begin to age, so a lowering of that metabolism, and we'll talk about why in just a moment, you'll start to see it. And what it looks like are these little dimples right here. So these dimples begin to show up on the skin, but really they're not anything different than what's already been there the whole time, except now there's an expansion of it. So let's go over now what that looks like below the skin. So if you look here, these are all adipocytes. So adipocytes are actually your body fat. So your body fat is made up of all these different cells called adipocytes, and they start to expand over time. But they only expand over time if the environment allows them to. And that's really what integrative health and functional medicine is all about. Meaning you probably didn't have cellulite at eight years old, probably didn't have it at six years old, probably didn't have it at 10 years old. Why did it start to happen when you were in your later teenage years or even 20s, 30s and beyond? So the reason is that there's a change in the fat cells. So you'll see here on the right hand side, these are normal fat cells for the most part. In between, this is the connective tissue, right? Here's your muscle. So we've got the muscle, we've got fat cells, we've got connective tissue, and then we've got right here the skin. So we've got the dermis layer and the epidermis layer. Dermis is just one level below the actual skin that you see on the outside. So you've got your uh, epidermis and you've got your dermis level. Well, what happens when these fat cells begin to expand? You can already start to see the dimples, right? Start to see the dimples right here. So on the next slide, you can begin to see normal, okay, we've got normal fat right here. Okay, all these circles. This is all normal adipose tissue. Now, what happens as it begins to expand? Well, we've got it right here. We see that as this flat layer becomes dimpled, the dimples show up on the top layer. So now if we know that the reason why we start to see the dimples of the, above the skin, right, the subcutaneous fat, which is fat between your muscle and your skin, if we start to see it cause dimples, we know there's an issue with the connective tissue. We know that there's a swelling of the fat stores. And now you know that these look like fat cells. They're basically cells that expand with either water or more body fat or toxins. And that's why the easiest way to remove cellulite is through sh shrinking of the fat stores through functional medicine detoxification, as well as improved circulation and blood flow to the area to repair the connective tissue. Now, again, this doesn't happen overnight, but I've seen tremendous results from so many women in my practice and men as well within just 21 days with a 21 day functional medicine detox. Why? Because it's the fastest way humanly possible and safest way to shrink those fat stores to help with detoxification while at the same time doing some dry brushing or even just self massage with some sesame oil in order to help improve blood flow. And again, move that lymphatic base system. Now here are the eight parts. So there's hormones that cause cellulite. 
And there's toxicity, there's excess weight gain for sure, right? That, that's a part of it. Lack of exercise, because what happens is the muscle tone changes as well, not just the lack of muscle. A poor diet, edema, nutrient deficiencies, which again, you can bring up right away, even just with a good daily nutritional support powder, right? One smoothie in the morning or a daily active multi, <clears throat> excuse me, to get all of your minerals and multis back in there. And the last one is circulation, like I talked about. But the ones that you can fix right away, toxicity with a functional medicine detox, nutri nutrient deficiency with a good daily activated multivitamin or uh, daily nutritional support, and circulation with that dry brushing uh, for sure. All of these things have been proven to work. They work fantastic. And then at the same time, you can work on all these others, which of course uh, will take a little bit longer, but again, you can absolutely get to the root cause. I've seen phenomenal results. I'll link up many of these things in the show notes below. And of course, always let me know if you have any questions. We'll talk more. Take care.